This is the cover for the lamp compartment. And this is the back side of the cover for the lamp compartment. This is a very important piece right here. This piece will reach out and press on a micro sit switch inside the lamp compartment. That micro switch has the purpose of determining whether this cover is in place. Over time it may have moved it's basically on a small printed circuit board. It may have moved and the interface may no longer be proper. What I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to super glue a small piece of gasket material onto this piece that sticks out in order to make contact. I've already proved that this is my problem by holding the micro switch down, which I'll show shortly, with my finger. So what's happening is it's missing or not depressing that micro switch far enough. This is the piece that I have cut. It's made out of Oh, about eighth inch gasket material, and I'm going to super glue this here. It's attached with super glue, and the glue is setting up right now. Uh, there is the chance that this may be too wide or too thick, and there's a possibility I may have to trim this or make adjustments, but one thing that I can do is that the screw that goes through to attach this down, I can only take that screw down enough to bring this into good solid contact. So uh, that's one way that I can adjust for this if this is too thick. Here is the light compartment. Notice the angle that the bulb goes in. There is a micro switch here. This is what I feel is the problem. The micro switch works this way. You can hear it click if my pickup is good enough. I speculate that the prong on the bulb compartment cover is not making good contact here. This is a 10-year-old television set. So, I am going to insert that. But also, while I'm here, another possibility which will cause the same symptom, the three red lights blinking, is a micro-switch at the interface level where the bulb compartment goes in, not the bulb compartment, but the bulb housing goes into the bulb compartment. Uh, one of the YouTube videos fixed this situation by putting on a piece of wood on the front of the bulb housing it would fix theirs, and I did the same thing here. It didn't fix mine. The reason is both of these micro switches, if either one is defective or not being picked, it will cause that symptom. So I've just taken this a little further. The other thing is there's a fellow who basically worked around this situation by tracing the wires down to this harness over here and just jumping them off, pulling the clips apart and jumping them off, which is not as satisfactory a solution as this here to get the uh, micro switches to work properly. That would be the right thing to do if the micro switches themselves were defective, but that's not the case in my situation. The micro switches work. Isn't it lovely? Here's my TV working again. I love fixing things. 
Incidentally, I found that my picture was going dark, but I was simultaneously having the three red light situation. I thought they were connected. I believe they were two separate things. And I did replace the lamp, but that didn't solve my three blinking light situation. What did is figuring out how to get that micro switch depressed properly. And this is a very common occurrence with the Sony Grand Wiga XBR type TVs. So I hope this will help someone else. I followed a breadcrumb trail where somebody put a piece of wood on once. Another person jumped off the clips. Uh, the situation where you basically understand that the problem is interface with the micro switch was kind of a revelation to me. And, um, you know, it's a good fix. My TV, you know, I've often had wonderful comments on this TV, even though it's 10 years old. It's a great rear projection television set. It actually costs with the stand that it's on. It costs about $5,000. So hopefully this is useful to you. Thank you.